chilling episode begins, we take you to the Pentagon and the office of one of our nation's great military leaders, General G.I. Brassbottom, who is at this very moment about to make an important decision. Miss Fenork, I thought I told you to hold my... Oh, hello there, Chief. What's that? Lumbering Longhorns, Chief. That is serious. Yes, sir, I'll get on it right away. Yahoo yourself, Chief. Golly, General, was that really the Chief? Yes, and he's very upset. It seems we've lost contact with one of our key radar tracking stations in northern Alaska. We must send someone up there to see what's happened to our radar operator, Corporal Melvin Mucklock. But, sir, the only way to reach Mucklock is by dog sled. And it's 50 below zero up there now. Where can we find anyone crazy enough to make that trip? Yes, where indeed? Nowhere but... You guessed it again, gang. Right at American Eagle headquarters, that's where. American Eagle headquarters, Roger, the manager speaking. Roger, my boy, I'm sending you on an assignment to the northernmost region of Alaska. Uh, Roger Ramjet, him not home now. Uh, you call back in maybe uh, three or four months. Uh, very sorry. Ramjet, I want you to know I always get a big kick out of your famous Warner Oland impression, but you're still going to Alaska. But, General, it's cold up there, and I'm more of a hot weather hero. Nonsense, Ramjet. We're sending you a complete Arctic survival kit. Gloves, boots, fur parka, thermal underwear, and a credit card good at any office of Burt's Rent-A-Husky. And so, a few days later, Roger arrived in Blubber City, Alaska, where he was met by his guide, a grizzly old prospector known as Sam Chinook. Mr. Schnook? That's Chinook. Be sure and get the I in there, sonny. And so, across the frozen tundra, trekked Roger Ramjet and his guide, Sam Schnook. Hit the high, dagnabbit, the name's Chinook. Sorry about that. But anyway, on they went over the frozen wastes until they finally reached the radar outpost of Corporal Melvin Mucklock. Corporal Mucklock, I've been sent here by Washington. <coughs> That's no attitude, Mucklock. Why aren't you manning your radar post? <coughs> Listen, don't growl at me. It's all well and good for you to stay in here all snug and warm in that fancy fur coat. But your country is depending on you to... Uh, Ramjet, uh, can I have a word with you? Oh, why, well, certainly. Excuse us, Corporal. <laughs> now, I ain't trying to stick my nose in where it don't belong, but I got a sneaking suspicion that you ain't talking to no Corporal Mucklock. No? Then who's the chap in the white fur coat? Well, he ain't exactly a chap neither. You see, he's a polar bear. Are you sure? I'm positive. I see. Well, in that case... <laughs> Proton energy pills, which give me the strength of 20 atom bombs for 20 seconds. But with all these clothes on, it's very difficult. There. Now to deal with this brute of a Bruin. My doggies, excuse me for staring, but ain't every day I get to see a feller punch out a polar bear. And so his mission accomplished. Roger Ramjet reported to General G.I. Brassbottom in Washington. Good work, Ramjet. You say we'd lost contact with Mucklock because that bear had eaten his radio? Yes, sir, and we found Corporal Mucklock in town when we got back. What was he doing in town? Don't be too hard on him, General. You see, a bunch of the boys were whooping it up at the Malamute Saloon. And, and so ends another dog guardian loaded for bear adventure of that flash-frozen hero, Roger Ramjet!